we want to describe the transformation and graph the given cosine function. Notice how the given function is in this form here. Let's begin by identifying the values of c, a, b, and d. Notice c is equal to negative one. a is equal to positive four. b is equal to positive two. We need to be careful about d. Notice how here we have x minus d, and we have x plus one-sixth pi. We need to remember that x plus one-sixth pi is equivalent to x minus negative one-sixth pi, and therefore d is negative one-sixth pi. So when we have addition, d is negative. When we have subtraction, d is positive. C indicates a vertical translation or vertical shift and since c is negative one, the function is translated or shifted down the absolute value of c units, which means our function is shifted down one unit because c is negative one. Because the function is shifted down one unit, so is the midline, and therefore the midline is y equals negative one. Let's go ahead and sketch y equals negative one on the graph, which is this horizontal line here one unit below the x-axis. Next, the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of a, and the absolute value of a is equal to the absolute value of positive four, which is positive four. The amplitude is positive four. Because a is positive, we do not have a reflection across the midline. Remember, when a is negative, we do have a reflection across the midline. Next, two pi divided by b is equal to the period. So two pi divided by b is equal to two pi divided by two, which is equal to pi. The period is pi units. And then finally, d indicates a horizontal translation, a horizontal shift, also called the phase shift. And since d is negative one-sixth pi, or negative pi over six, the function is translated, the absolute value of negative one-sixth pi units to the left. So because d is equal to negative one-sixth pi, the graph is shifted left one-sixth pi units. So because our graph is shifted left one-sixth pi units, let's begin by sketching a vertical line at x equals negative one-sixth pi, or negative pi over six, which is here. And because the period is pi units and negative one-sixth pi plus pi or plus six-six pi is equal to five-six pi units, let's also sketch a vertical line at x equals five-six pi units or five pi over six, which is here. Over this interval, we will graph one period of the given cosine function. For the next step, let's divide this interval into four equal subintervals. So we'll cut it in half, and then we'll cut each half into half, which should be here, as well as here. And since the midline is y equals negative one, and the amplitude is positive four, negative one plus four is positive three, we will have a maximum function value of positive three, and negative one minus four is negative five, we will have a minimum function value of negative five. Remember, when graphing the basic cosine function over one period, the pattern is maximum, midline, minimum, midline, and maximum. So going back to our graph, we'll follow the same pattern over this period using these four equal subintervals. So to begin, we'll start at a maximum at x equals negative one-sixth pi or negative pi over six, which is up here at positive three. And then following the pattern for the cosine function, we go back down to the midline, down to the minimum, back up to the midline, and back up to the maximum. Here is the graph of one period of the given cosine function. Before we graph more of this function, let's complete the statements above. The first statement is about the phase shift, or horizontal shift, which is left one-sixth pi units 
to indicate this though, we just enter d, which is negative 1 sixth pi. Remember when d is negative, we know the shift is left, the absolute value of d units. Next, the translation of the point 0 comma 1 is what point, which is either a max a min or on the midline. Remember when graphing the basic cosine function, the point 0, 1 is the first point we graph here, which is a maximum, but because we had a phase shift, a horizontal shift, remember, this is the first point that we plotted, and the ordered pair for this point is negative 1, 6 pi, comma, 3. So this point corresponds to the point 0, comma, 1 on the basic cosine function. So we enter in parentheses negative 1, 6 pi, or negative pi over 6, comma, positive 3, which is a high point, and therefore this is a maximum. Next, the period is pi units. One half of the period is one half pi, which we can also write as pi over two. Next, the point that is half of the period to the right of the phase shift is this low point here, where the ordered pair is pi over three or one third pi, comma, negative five. which if we were asked would be a minimum. But before we go, let's sketch more of our graph. To help us sketch more of the graph, let's make a vertical line every one-fourth of the period, which would be here on the right, and here on the left. Following the same pattern, here we're back at the midline, so the graph looks something like this to the right, to the left, here we're also back at the midline, and therefore the graph looks something like this. I hope you found this helpful.